Wars movie lovers and movie fanatics. So Ryan Krugler is definitely up to making a sequel to Black Panther, but an all-female sequel to Black Panther 2. Now, this sounds astonishing. I mean, what a great idea and what a great opportunity for the female leads of the MCU in the future, especially going into Phase 4. I mean, I would absolutely love that. Um, yeah, he was doing an interview. I'm going to read you guys some of the interview on uh, comicbook.com. Ryan Krugler on the women in Black Panther being as important as the male characters. I think you could argue that they are more important. Ryan Krugler on if he would do an all-female sequel to Black Panther. That would be an amazing if the opportunity came up. So he would definitely be down to do a sequel, but have most likely have Shuri pick up the mantle from Black Panther and become Black Panther herself, which would be fucking amazing. I would love to see Shuri put on a suit and just kick ass and protect Wakanda. Um, let's, let's read some more. The funny thing is that an all-female, or at least an all-predominantly female, Black Panther 2 is definitely something that well inside the realm of possibility. As we, see, as we have seen previously discussed, one of the main storylines that could come after Avengers 4 is Fall of the King, storyline that sees T'Challa exiled from his homeland, leaving Shuri, Nakia, and the Dora Milaje to run Wakanda. That could work. That could possibly work for a sequel to Black Panther. I mean, I'm so I'm so hyped. Like I'm so into this right now, you guys. This is this is perfect. Man, with that kind of setup, Black Panther 2 easily lean on the troubles of the secessions of the ladies of Wakanda will face while pushing T'Challa to the sidelines, possibly to appear in the next Avengers film or other crossover films like his first appearance in the Captain America Civil War. Whatever the case may be, the fandom would seem to be on board for a woman of Wakanda movie. I am so down. I feel like that could totally work. Like, what if you don't bring back Black Panther, right? Or you do bring him back, or like, you know, they said he's exiled in that storyline. I haven't read that comic book yet, but now I'm definitely going to read that comic. Um, he's exiled from Wakanda, and you know, Shuri picks up the mantle, like I said, and you really have Okoye and the Dora Milaje, you have Nakia, you have uh, Shuri, you have, you know, um, I forgot her mom, Ramonda, her mom, just really, you know, run and put you know, Wakanda back to what it used to be, because I'm pretty sure Wakanda is not going to be the same after, you know, the whole battle in Infinity War. Things will be drastically different on how they view things and certain situations and stuff like that. But man, Ryan Krugley, if you're watching this video, which I'm pr probably sure you're not, I am so down to see you do a sequel or an all-female lead for Black Panther 2. That sounds like a sensational idea. I mean, shit, I am all with it, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only fan out there who would love to see something like that, something very different and fresh. Like I said, going to Phase 4, things will be different. You're not going to see your typical Marvel movies like we've been used to seeing, and I'm okay with that. I like refreshments. I like stuff being new, and I'm all with it, you guys. But push your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Black Panther 2 being an all-female sequel to Black Panther. Do you think it's a good idea? What do you think? Have you read the... the the Fall of the King. Have you read the comic? I haven't. I'm definitely going to have to read it now. But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you for taking time out of your day to watch Zero Productions. Peace. We out. We out. We out. We out.